Hello everyone, welcome to Wiseish. I'm your host, Sister Jenna, and it always delights us that you choose to take your 15-minute power boost every day. You know, when we actually focus on the deeper sense of ourselves and find that deeper sense of purpose, just imagine the opportunities that we can create that day. I wanted us to share about what this particular period in time might be offering us in terms of more opportunities. For example, since we've been in lockdown, we have the meditation museums are closed. We're not doing as many America meditating interviews as we were accustomed to doing every day daily. Now we're combining it with the next normal and with the radio show as well. And we have even learned how to do little short films, films, things that we never knew we could do before. And all of this is just happening because we need something new to stimulate our energies. Imagine if every day you wake up with the same doldrum mentality. Ah, oh, it's just another day. Okay, there's nothing new. Or you look at the people and things in your life like it's the same people, same stuff. If you feel like you're not growing, then are they growing? Are they growing that they can inspire you to grow? Is there anything happening at home with your relationships that seem to give you some inspiration? One of the most profound and most inspiring ways of helping us to change is to have somebody in the house who has an upbeat mentality, somebody who's open, creative, daring, adventurous. They just bring everybody into the vortex. But what does it mean about others who don't want to do that, who don't want to create anything new, who don't want any new opportunities? What if you just feel like, eh, <laughs> you know, the pandemic is going on, the Thanksgiving time is coming. We can't be with our family and friends like we want to. What's the use? What a drag. I mean, what is going on? Where is God in all of this? With all of those critical and waste and negative thoughts, you're not going to attract opportunity. Do you know why? Because that critical thinking and that negative thoughts, they're actually pushing away from you anything new that could actually come into your vortex. Give it a thought. The more you're critical, the more you're complaining, the more you're judging, the more you are not seeing the silver lining in all of this, you're pushing away an opportunity. Now you and I don't know the depths of the recording in our souls in terms of what our account is of charity or what our account in the soul is of a loss of values and power. So we don't know why some of us have to work harder than others. For example, I know a lot of people will share it with me and our whole team here. You guys do so much, you do so much, you do that. And I keep questioning to myself, I don't know what they're saying. I feel like we're just in a rhythm. 
And I will tell you that if it feels like too much, knowing the person that I am, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to allow myself to be forced by something that I've created to put me in a position where I can't be happy. You know, of course, I don't have control over anyone. That is true. And as much with our better angels surrounding us and as much as we tend to want things in a particular way, you know you never get it. And it's all because even in your wanting, you could be coming from a place of a lack. And so what actually is feeding the reality of your situation isn't you wanting something better. It's the energy of the lack that is keeping you where you are. Give that some thought. It's really a deep point. You keep striving for wanting something else. But in your wanting, you are thinking the reason why you want it is because it's not working. It's not right. There is a lack. There's a hole. There's a void. So what if we actually goes, oh, wow, this has been great so far. Maybe we can move on to this next idea. Maybe this could be the next plan. Maybe this is the next possibility. And it might be going against what your role is, your title, your form, who you think you were always meant to be. That's another big thing. When you're so attached to a particular role or title that you force yourself to stay there because you are concerned about what other people are going to think about you. Loss of energy, isn't it? completely a loss of energy. It just won't take you anywhere. But what if you actually just accept it? I know that so far the universe, the destiny drama has taken me to this point. I don't feel like I can do the same thing over and over again. What's new? What is waiting for me to step into? What is my next big thing? What is my next normal? Which is our evening show that we do Monday through Friday on the Meditation Museum channel. But what is my next normal? What is it? And when you find yourself having that kind of a dialogue, guess what? Opportunities will come banging down your doors. Whether it's the smallest of thing or the largest of things, it will come and find you. You know why? You're not pushing it away. You're not pushing it away by comparing, criticizing, complaining, the C's that I always talk about. You know, they say we should take our vitamin C's because it's good to build our immunity. But do not, do not take these C's. Criticism, comparison, complaining, competition. And even if you take these C's, it's way too much. It won't be good for you. It could even, it'll even reveal itself in your eyes, what we call in your drishti. You will see, oh, this person complains. That's a critical person. Oh, that person's always down. Look, it gets so easy to come from a lower vibrational frequency. And the reason why it's so easy to come from a low vibration, because it's omnipresent. Just about everyone you bump into is still struggling with recognizing who are they and what their worth is. Every one of us is as if we're in Noah's Ark. You know, we're in this boat. We're supposed to go to the other shore and find our victory. But if everyone on the boat is scared, complaining, critical, why are you even there? How is there going to be any help? You know, how are you going to be helped? You know, you look at a set with a director, right? The director has a vision. And the actors trust the director to put them in the right frame, to position them in the right way. The director has to get the camera where it pulls out the best features, the best energy of that particular actor. Why? So the story the director is trying to convey impacts everyone in the same way with your own life one of the opportunities that we have during this particular pandemic is what you know where is my consciousness do i trust god to really guide me and take me to that particular place in my life where what i say what i do 
how I am, the way that I show up, makes a difference. It adds to the story. It makes the lives of people better because my life is becoming better. So there are a variety of opportunities that are knocking on the door of our minds right now. And the first thing you have to do, change the way you're seeing yourself. Get out of feeling that this is just the way you're supposed to be. You play it safe, but you're actually losing power. And remember, as we travel on this journey of life as souls on our journey, the soul will take with it the amount of power you have left the previous incarnation in. And power comes in different forms, not just in your element of light, but it comes in your skills, your talents, your character, the way you used energy. Haven't you seen there's some people with such potential, but they don't believe in themselves? It's because of their thinking. So they push everything back. Nothing comes to them. And even if it does, it doesn't stay. <laughs> so hopefully that sharing helped somebody today, right? And you feel a little bit more wise-ish. So let's hear what your blessing will be for this day. You are a world server who supports everyone instead of stepping away from them. Hmm. Nice blessings every day, isn't it? You are a world server who supports everyone instead of stepping away from them. Very useful blessing if you're living with a spouse and their differences, or your teenagers, or even a roommate. Thank you so much for joining Wise Ish. Hopefully, you've got a little bit more wisdom in your day. Remember, no one can take away your happiness unless you give them permission. And we really are here to practice loving one another the same. Take care. Thank you.